this topic right here is blowing people's mind because the AI <laughs> allowing people Oof. to make music sounding like whoever, whoever is blowing people's minds, but it's also scaring some folks as well. Let's have that quick talk. They can really ask AI to make an old graduation type Kanye West song. Let go, we do this for the shot. This ain't the new Kanye, this ain't the old Kanye. Now everybody know this the clone Kanye. Why ain't model chick trying to bone Kanye? I'm trying to go to Paris, parlez vous français. I told Kim, stop fucking up my life. Why you trying to dress our daughter up as ice spice? Why you not trying to live your life by Christ? Sociable, but I come from the shy shot. Illuminati came and threw me in a bunker. Made a clone and made me marry Bianca. If you knew me, you would know that's out of order. I'm a Trump supporter. I'm more likely to marry Ivanka. Used to be no locally. Nowadays, I get canceled globally. Even vocally, they make a clone of me. Even the dealers done stole on me. Shouldn't have been involved, but I was spitting down. It's like they want me to go pray at the synagogue. So if you are an artist and you create a reference track, mm -hmm. right? Before, we've always had artists send re reference tracks. We all always had songwriters send demos. Mm -hmm. Well, now that I can send a demo in your voice, Gonna change the game. That's gonna change the game. One, that's a better selling point because I could make you like it more if I send you a demo on your voice, yeah. right? Yeah. But even greater, if I'm the artist on the other side, at some point I say, well, shit, I might not even need to re record this because they hit it in a way that's so perfect. <laughs> and now being an artist looks like, oh, let me just get a bunch of, you know, songwriters, let them send in their references, yeah. and producers, all that. And then all I do is approve. It's like signing off. Mm -hmm. Yep, this could be officially a Kanye West song. Because Kanye West, especially somebody like him, right? He already works with a bunch of people anyway. Mm -hmm. It's an orchestra of individuals. So there's a lot of people. As a matter of fact, some of these artists that we we say need a ghostwriter at the beginning, they, they've accused a lot of women artists in the past about this type of thing. So you can literally build an artist. Yeah. Like we, we talk about social media being the era where, oh, there's just this personality. And then all of a sudden you get a song. I mean, give them a song because they're not, now that they're popping, the music is going to be popping because they already got an audience. Well, what if I can truly build an artist? I can have Ja'Cory just rap, write everything and then make it Ice Spice. Yeah. So the artist never has to <laughs> do anything. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know, man. We're, we're about to enter a, a really, I don't know. That's kind of a dope era too, though. Yeah, that I, delegating the creativity you know, in a way, that's kind of hard. I, I know it sucks from this anti-artist, but damn, that's kind of hard. That's what I'm saying, bro. We were just saying that, man. Like I, as a fan, am very excited to see where this goes. Yeah. As a music industry professional, I'm just glad I'm not a songwriter or artist. You know what I'm saying? Thank <laughs> thankfully I'm on the other end of it. Well, we can we can look at it that way, but I don't know. I'd be empowered if I was a songwriter. Well, okay, yeah, actually you're right. Songwriter producer, yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Cause like, yeah, I think that's what's gonna change the most off of this, bro. The reference game or just like you said, being able to amplify the selling point of the song just off mm -hmm. of being able to input your personality and your your little cadences and things like that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to be game changing for that end. I mean, but the regular artist that wants to, you know, put their voice out, I guess. But think about production deals, again, which is in many ways is building an artist. Yeah. Because it's developing, but it's yeah. expediting that. So now, shoot, I got my producer and I'm a songwriter. I'm a songwriter. I'm, I can write in different voices. You know what I'm saying? I was going to say, and that's what could be crazy, bro. The building the artist thing could get really granular because sometimes, like, have you ever seen the artist where you're just like, maybe it's your voice, right? Like, not saying it's bad or whatever, but for whatever reason, some artists have voices that people just take to yeah, a lot a lot more of others, right? So, like, now Actually, I can just go, I can I can go find someone whose voice I like and be like, yo, their voice yes. would be crazy, but they just suck at cadence or they suck at you know what I'm saying like stand on beat or something and then pair that with the ai shit from ugh, it's crazy brad we're on the same page <laughs> i was about to say as an example of this do you remember when young jeezy talked about kanye taking his voice yeah right yeah, just a yeah. year yeah like yeah because jeezy has such a distinct and dope voice yeah. that was an example of him using that right just using jeezy as ad libs because he has such a dope voice so 
That's the exact same concept. Yeah. I'm going to go find dope voices. It's no difference than me being a producer and I'm walking around and I hear some construction and I record it on my recorder oh, yeah. and then I take it back to the studio <laughs> and flip it. You know what I'm saying? You, you imagine that conversation. You're like, hey, hold up real quick, bro. I like your voice. Can I get like a quick, just like a quick 30 <laughs> seconds, man? That shit kind of fire. Like the gravel in the voice, bro, is perfect for this one song I got. Hey. I got for real, <laughs> that nice little rasp, you know what I'm saying? That's you literally now can use the entire world as, as I don't even want to say the canvas, but just you, 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 you oh, raw material. It's all raw materials. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I see this, I see this. I can mix and match every single thing. When before you had to get the person to agree to it, got to yeah, give them show an agreement, up. show up. <laughs> so just imagine you seeing your voice on something. And you're like, man, that's my voice. How do you even argue that sometimes? Because they might yeah. say, I like your voice. Yeah. And then they just get catch that from this video. It's not even like they met you in person. So yeah. now you're like, well, I never met this person in person. How can I prove this is my voice? You're right. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, man, I'm like, I think that's me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like if it was me, just you know, taking to me personally, I feel like I would know. Me yeah. Of course you would know. How do you prove it somebody else? Though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're that's right. That's the problem. Hopefully, hopefully, I was going to say, hopefully my people would know me well enough to know, but that's not true, bro, because I've been hearing some deep fake Uzi songs. I've been all over them shit. It's like, damn, man, when, they, they, when did Uzi put this out? Oh. No. <laughs> Government-wise, money-wise, that's the part you're going to want. Yeah. You're not going to care if if I, I'm like, yeah, that's your Corey voice. It don't matter if Sean agrees. You're going to be mad that money not coming. That's yeah. what the part yeah yeah and that's what's so interesting about like all the verification you know what i'm saying talk that's going on you know everybody's talking about verification to protect against like ai images i'm yeah. like man, i'm i'm i don't know man the images for me or whatever but that's the voice thing that's fucking me up it's like man you know so some artists and managers are just waiting for lucky moments when the ones who are killing it have systems to consistently take artists to another level over and over again and if you want to see what that looks like, we just did a collab where we not only show the system that we use that's resulted in billboard hits, some of the biggest viral moments on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, but also we got J.R. McKee to break down how he took an artist from zero to one of the biggest hit songs of 2022 and getting a Grammy in January of 2023. This is recent stuff, not old tactics. If you want to check it out, go to www dot brandmannetwork.com slash grammy don't forget the www or it won't work because jr gets into the details of looking at the data decisions that got made how much content got created and how they adjusted the content over time for different parts of the campaign this is real behind the curtains type of stuff so again go to www.brandmannetwork.com slash grammy if you want to check this out and apply it to yourself back to the video like, no, yeah, like that. They've been. I was. I was just showing Sean before this episode, like the uh, the progress of the AI. Right, like last year when they dropped the Juice World, Hey there, Delilah to the shit that's been coming out in the last like couple of days, bro. That's that progress over a year span is like crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, from like robotic sounding to like, oh damn, moving on the fly, hearing this really quickly, I couldn't tell. Even if I sat with it for a while, some of them I still can't tell. So. That's just what's interesting to me, man. It's like I feel like the conversation around what are we going to do for this really got started with that initial young guru uh, IG clip, but it doesn't feel like it went far, you know. And I feel right. like we got at least another like four or five months of like jokes and games and ha ha. This is pretty funny. Look at Kanye saying Ice Spice, and then yep. some some shit gonna go down, and we all gonna be like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, oh this gonna, shit, this shit is serious. We're gonna see it now. And it's gonna be a fan, but I'm telling you, a fan gonna fuck the game up. Always, yeah, yeah. It's these, be a fan. these new age fans, <laughs> the new age fans. Let's read Young Guru's post real quick. He yeah. said, "I've been trying to tell everyone that this is where we are now with AI. For some reason, this one got everyone's attention. And he, this post is not his original post that got taken down, but it's on a Jay Z remix that sounds a lot like Jay Z. Uh, so what we, so what do we do? On one hand, I'm well aware that you can't stop technology. Once the genie is out of the box, you can't put it back in." On the other hand, we have to protect the rights of artists, not only artists, but everyone in society. People should not be able to take your name, image and likeness without permission. You have to add the voice to this law. Again, that's not a thing right now. You cannot copyright your voice yet. We have to learn from past mistakes. 
you would be a fool to chase every person that is going to do this. We learned that lesson with Napster. The only way I see to deal with it is to change the law. There are so many different options. We could change the United States law tomorrow, but the Internet is worldwide. What a time to live in. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, because even changing it in the U.S. doesn't mean you're changing it globally. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole nother thing. And yes, to this point, you can't chase down all the individuals either. But we know technology moves so fast. What's the damage that's going to be done before the regulations of government catches up? That's yeah. always the game that's being played. It's going to be years. Years. At least three. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. And before we move on and get into the branding, branding talk, we got to talk about likeness and even how all this AI puts you in a position where you really need to make sure your brand is intact. And, and, and you build something meaningful, but likeness. So him talking about likeness. Remember when we had our original conversation, I was talking about likeness being so important and how Michael Jordan was the only person in the NBA who owned his likeness. Yeah. Like in the nineties, he, yeah, did, he yeah. didn't do whatever the deal was. Obviously he's Michael Jordan. He was on another level. So he had that type of leverage. Yeah. So that was why Michael Jordan wasn't in the other video games because NBA sells it off. So NBA 2K, NBA Jam, all these different games. Michael Jordan was like, eh, nah, I'm cool on this one. I'm cool on this one. And he had different reasons or nuances, apparently, on what he – maybe he liked that he was represented. Maybe he wasn't realistic enough. Or I don't know what all the different reasons when he approved the game or not. But like having that type of leverage puts you in a different um, position. And likeness, that's the power of likeness. So for people to be able to take that away mm. by using this AI, like we think it's all fun and games, but it's such a monetary opportunity to use likeness. It's something that is about to be played with heavily and we, we have to watch because then that also alludes to uh, Snoop Dogg. What did he just do with his likeness? He just gave his likeness to, uh, it was either NFT related or, he just gave his likeness to something big, whatever, or maybe ah, I wish I could remember wrestling? what it was. No, it wasn't the wrestling. Let thing. me. We're just gonna have to bring up the Snoop Dogg thing later. But like the point is, owning your likeness and how you monetize that likeness is extremely important. But without the laws in place, then you know how do you really take advantage of it? You're only gonna have the official corporations that always gotta pay because they're easy to sue, all right, and attack. But you'll have a lot of people. On the underworld world, like just regular societal level, always flipping people's likeness. And you can't catch all of it. Yeah. All right. Shoot, because I might flip your likeness just enough for me to get to the next level. And then, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm legit now. Yeah. All right. It's the same yeah. thing as like dealing drugs until you get legit. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to flip these likenesses and do all these <laughs> other black hat things until I get to a certain level. And now I'm in the game. All right. So that's the world we're moving into. With that being said, 